In this class we will present the concepts of dynamic simulation, where and when this type of analysis is applied. We will also know the dynamic simulation environment. Dynamic simulation differs from the assembly of parts. Basically because we can apply parameters of movement, forces and analysis of movement results of the mechanism. It is applied when it is necessary to use virtual prototypes, reducing costs with the production of several real prototypes, until the expected result is reached. In this way, you can eliminate the use of real prototypes, or even lower costs, producing only the prototype after the data is processed on the computer. Thus, the trial and error technique is eliminated in order to reach the final result of the system. With dynamic simulation, we can verify the consequence of movements, torques and forces imposed on the set, analyzing its functioning. When we open the inventor, we are directed to the home screen of the software. On this screen we can open the last saved projects, choose the template that we want to work with and even configure templates. We click on New, located in the Launch Tool group. This window contains all the groups of templates that we can use. We will work on the metric system, then click Metric to enable the configured templates for this system. For the metric system, Inventor provides the templates already configured according to the DIN standard, or configured to millimeter more comprehensively. Dynamic simulation is performed on assemblies, so we should use a specific template of assemblies, which can be any of this group. We will use the template for standard mounting in millimeters. In this way, we will model in millimeters, and the saved file will have the extension, ipt. We have been directed to the desktop in 3D, in the Assemble tab. To go to the dynamic simulation environment, it is necessary to open the tab shown and then click on the command Dynamic Simulation, located in the Begin Tool group of the ribbon menu. OK, we're already in the Dynamic Simulation environment, and this is where the tools for performing the simulations are located. In Joint, are the tools that define the joints of the mechanisms, which directly implies the movement of the set. Under load are the tools that apply loads to the assembly. In results are the tools that assist us in interpreting the results of the simulation, as well as alternative ways to apply dynamic simulation. In Animate, there are simulations video animation and image production tools. Under Manage are the Management Tools. And under Stress Analysis, is the command that imports simulation into the Stress Analysis environment by Finite Element method. By clicking Finish Dynamic Simulation, the Dynamic Simulation is finished, so we return to the Assembly environment.